Hello everyone, Kringa here again, and now I'm bringing about the ESP, the Interface Segregation Principle. If you remember, in the last class, we had about the LSP, the Liskov Substitution Principle, right? That we realize that we can do this way. So let's understand how we can turn better this code using the ESP, right? So the first thing we need to check here is for example we we can in that case get the bitcoin address but only for the bitcoin wallet right and for the ethereum wallet we can do this because we are implementing a method methods that we will never use because we only will throw an exception right how we can turn this better we can segregate uh, this class this big class in my case the wallet and bring specializations for each class so how this will work? Okay, it's simple, it's very simple. For example, abstract class, Bitcoin information wallet. That's it. Now I remove from that, there, and I will implement here. Okay, this continue working. And now, for example, I can remove it, right? Now I'm just implementing the methods that I will use in my class. But let's let's suppose that I need to get the uh, Ethereum informations, right? How I can do this will be the same idea. So, for example, let's create the Ethereum informations wallet, and let's implement here. Implement, and let's change this one for get Ethereum address. That's it. And now we have a specializations for our classes, right? So if, if I, I can get the address, now I just return my address, right? But okay, this is uh, the example and uh, one only, uh, only one thing is about the ESP. Our classes should only have access to the necessary methods related to their need, own needs. So for example, if I re remove this because I don't need, and I can remove this one, and I can remove this one. My, my base class, my wallet, I can send and check if my balance is empty. I can check here and I can send at the same time. And the Ethereum wallet, I can check if it's empty and I can send. So that's it. Thanks everyone. And see you in the next video will be about the DIP, dependency inversion principle. And if you are enjoying the video, if you are like this mini series about Solidity, please subscribe to the channel and that's it. Cheers and see ya.